everybody. I'm back. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to I'm going to um, stuff clay. I'm going to I'm going to smear clay along the edge of the inside of the of the of this of the frame here for making the molds. I'm doing that um, to prevent any leaking of the plaster. If I don't do this, plaster will just start leaking out from underneath the mold. Um, so this is a necessity now. You know, again, this isn't rocket science. You just smear the clay. Um, I always try to get, make the clay last as, long, as far as I can. So, um, so I just, you know, sm squish it in and smear it right along that edge until it's, you can see that it's covered in plaster or it's covered in the, the gap is covered in clay. So you have to do the bottom and all four of the sides going up. Um, that one's done really quick. Um, if you if the plaster if, if, if you don't do this right and the and the plaster starts leaking out, um, it's not an, it's not it's not the end of the world. You can get some clay, have some clay at, uh, at nearby, stuff it in on the outside. Like I said before, um, being a ceramic artist, being a tile maker. You know, you can make everything perfect. You, can, you know, I just screwed this, this thing together really, really quick. I didn't even use a tape measure. They aren't exactly perfect, these, 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 um, these mold frames. Each one of these is a little different. You know, I probably saved a half an hour just by cutting them by, you know, with some rudimentary kind of tool I had to measure with. It's not a big deal, but like I said, if you want everything to be perfect, you want all your molds to slide in at the right right level and stack everything perfect, you know, maybe that's for you. But for me, you know, I've learned that you can try to make everything perfect, but there's too many problems that happen. Molds will break. You know, you can't keep things or. Uh, right spot things get shuffled around you need to mold really quick because the customer makes a special order you know you can you seriously can spend all your day organizing or your or your workshop can just become this working environment where everything's there somewhere and you know there, it, it, there's there's order and disorder is the best way of putting it I don't want these videos to go too long because they, 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 they take too long to download. No, I'm using I'm using particle board here. It's not smooth drywall. It's not a, a tabletop in a, in a in a in an art studio that's nice and smooth. Um, I can handle I can deal with that. I can handle that. Um. When I clean these molds out after I pour them tomorrow or something, you know, I'll use a grating tool. I'll use a knife. You know, and, I, and I'll and I'll smooth. You know, the plaster will 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 keep the impression of this particle board in the bottom of the mold. But you know, it doesn't. With the kind of tiles that I'm making here, these are decorative art tiles. These are these are pieces of artwork. This isn't. I'm not doing this for a tile company, even though many people put these tiles in their backsplash. These are these are these are kind of rustic and raw um, folk art in a way you can call them. But at the same time, like I said, customers can put them in their backsplash. Um, I could get into all these side points. You know, when you start making the, when you start a tile business, you're you're kind of overwhelmed with this notion of a turning your business into a company and making backsplash tiles and this, that, and the other thing. Um, and what you find is, is, is you can go that route. You can think that you want to have this tile business where you're making backsplash and field tiles. But then, and then when you start doing them, you do a couple orders, you realize not only you, you can probably may have more, you, you know, you, if you do that, you're not going to have as many, you're not going to, you're going to stop creating the artwork. You're going to start glazing plain flat field tiles. And you're not going to be doing the artwork anymore because all your time will be spent making people's backsplash tiles. So, um, again, it's a learning experience. Um, 
So the fact that these are a little bit, you know, I'm doing this out on the board, out in my yard, and it's not like, you know, that's okay. The finished product will be something completely unique and unusual. You know, these, these tiles have been sitting in my refrigerator, some of these for several months. And some of them still have some moisture in them, some of them don't. So I'm gonna go make the plaster and then we'll do the next step.